Hey, so sorry I have to take the camera face a little funny because that's where the shit is. And also my dad was really drunk. So, and he got drunk really bad after yesterday. So, let's make this video a little bit funny. What happened to the channel? Why am I attacked? Why hadn't made any videos? First and foremost, the channel's not dead. I'm taking a break. A pretty two week break from my video uploading. But, you know, just enjoying life again. But first and foremost, where the hell am I? Number one, I'm back at home base in Ho Chi Minh City. That's right, I'm home from December 22nd. I flown Vietnam Airlines back. Trip Report is on Tom's Aviation. So you guys can go up there and watch the video and show you how my experience flying a VNA feels like. It is a little bit on the change and I actually was, I thought they'd do some improvements, but they started cutting costs on some things that I really started to feel a little bit of a problem over my table. It's a day flight, but still, it's really brutal. Got home, had dinner like pretty big dinner and uh, had a haircut so that's why my hair looks like this crazy new style which I do like it a lot more than my previous one number two is um, number two is actually uh, about the, the work what happened on the channel currently the channels did in active mode a little bit but I'm currently trying to relax it out and maybe take a little bit of a break and try to sort it out look I'm, I'm we're all human okay we, we want to experience all the culture stuff I was really wanted to just go home and see my parents for one more time and because I hadn't seen them for literally more than a, close to the bloody year and I only come home in December and I only have a break of two, more than two weeks. That's not so, that is just only, that's enough for me to really try to work it out. That's a little bit more than two weeks and that's not a lot. Compare that. Some people say that's enough for me to enjoy my family. And I know I feel that that's not, not, not enough because I have to skip Tet holiday because I have to go back to do flight training. So that's a little bit of a sad thing. But unfortunately, life is the rules and you can't really do anything. That's the sad part. Number two, everything's okay. I'm all right. Unfortunately, I got sick. Um, yeah, a few days ago, I got really violently sick thanks to being going out. Thanks to the rain turned me into a violent ill bastard. And because the heat just made me intensifying and almost driving me into a fever. It was a cold, but I had to go on fucking medications, so a lot of medication needed to be used. No antibiotics, because the antibiotics were so powerful that it could really use um, hardcore damage to my body. So that's a pretty not something safe I can drink. Number three is I dedicated a lot of my vacation time to meet up with everyone from the Royal Aviation community. That's right, I met with people IRL, meaning I meet them real life. For those who never know, I met Grosdev, or Philip, in Singapore as the first start of the meetup. Now, why I met Philip? Well, number one is me and him want to discuss about the partnership with Bamboo and Singapore Airlines, and I checked his application and it was successful. The problem is, it took a long time because the BODs at my airline just basically had to take a deep look again. And also, there's also people, but we understand that there are people that are okay with saying rejections because we can work it out and find a solution to not think about much problems. So what the solution is, is we worked out the partnership planning. And of course, we went to Singapore and we ha have a pretty much a nice dinner. I actually covered for me and Philip's dinner at a, um, I think it was like a food place, not like, not like a hawker center, but I do love going to hawker centers still. They are good food there. Some hawker centers in Singapore have good food. So, so instead of going sometimes, instead of going spending thousands of fucking dollars on expensive restaurants, just spend some money on hawker centers and you will enjoy it more than your average day of eating things in Singapore. Or if you're too extremely lavish, you're a bastard. Even though I don't spend a lot of money, but I'd rather just, even though someone give me that cash to spend in crazy restaurants in Singapore, I would just spend it in a hawker center because, you know, fuck it. If me and the boys could eat and enjoy, if, if the food is enjoyable, and we love to enjoy, there's no need to spend more. That's an ex the Hawker Center experience is just my favorite. Except the barbecue, it turned, except the very expensive barbecue that turned my family and uh, my aunt literally just embarrassing me right in front of them. Yeah, so that's a problem on my table, so I can't explain that one because that shit is so bad to the point that I had problems thinking about it. Trust me, I do not want to do that sh the same thing like what happened again all right let's get back to the main topic the philip so i met philip at the hotel we stayed in marina bay sands we met him each other philip came here by taxi and i literally just texted him what the hell is he he, he came here we talked each other around the uh 
bay and then we got in. Then we head up to the hotel. And we just thought we'd show him around, just chill. And then we all came there and I'm like, oh, fuck. Well, we decided uh, we go eat dinner together. Paid for both the dinners. And then we was walking around thousands of miles because, huh, yeah, that place is fully no chairs left. And I'd rather just, I mean, if I would go to a normal hawker center, I wouldn't be paying thousands of, taking more than 50 minutes just to find a bloody chair. 50 means five zero, not 15 minutes. <coughs> okay. And so now that's, that's the, and of course, after dinner, and they guys got rubble tea, and I got my tea last, I came in, we talked with the partnership, and we signed the partnership meetup with a pretty cool photo. I will not leak the photo because that photo is actually on Discord. You can go, go to SIA, SIA Discord and you can see it. It's funny. But yeah, I had to blur Philip's face because I wanted to make sure Philip's privacy mattered. And I understand the privacy is important in my squad, and so I do not take fucking photos of the cabin crews. Oh yeah, by the way, I did walk, I did ask the crew permission to go into the A350 flight deck. It was really good. Sadly, um, regulations really had been up against a lot of us, so we couldn't really take a picture of it. But we did have fun chatting with the captain, though. Impressive. Now, let's talk about the other thing. The second, or actually, the fourth, fifth, sixth, the 69th things. God, I hate to say more about it. <laughs> about the videos. Now, why well, hadn't uploaded a lot of videos on both GD and Major? Number one is I'm busy with a lot of, I want to enjoy my vacation seriously. Look, I only have two weeks to spend, and you compare this. People say, that's enough, but like me, I just want to spend and experience every single thing before I head back to Australia. And that's the saddest thing. It's sometimes that you do not want to regret, like you do not want to feel the regretful taste of not enjoying more. And that's how I feel. So I try to enjoy this much as I can, this vacation as much as I can. It was a very good idea to do it. And also, I did met my buddy Bill as well in real life. Bill and I actually are good buddies from Bamboo, and we met physically after four years. He's, uh, he and I were trying to work things out, but, you know, Harry's want him to go back to work as a vice chairman, but he was still deciding for Bamboo. And I don't want to push people to do, do the work. But just, you know, for him, we just wanted to be sure everything worked out with him before it worked out with me. And number three is that I met a lot of new plane spotting communities. I met Yuan from the plane spotting community. He's there, me and him take photos of it. My camera kind of got beaten up like crazy because uh, the battery in the camera, though that camera right down there is an Olympus OMD EM5. It's a first gen version. It was gift to my dad from the Olympus company in the 2010s. The funny thing is that this camera is so good, but it's a 150 mil telephoto. Sadly, the camera's batteries have been in a lot of problems the past few years, and trying to work these cameras out is not easy. Of course, my dad brought a few guests over to try to fix everything up, but then they got really drunk. Yep. And that's the reason why my duty-free bag contains whiskey. My dad loves whiskey. Not me. I don't drink whiskey. So if you're all idiots going to ask me, do I like drinking alcohol? There are certain types of alcohol I do enjoy. But hard alcohol, which means extremely potently destructive, is, is categorized as whiskey, vodka, and many other hard drinks, like brutal drinks, like more than like 30 or 50% alcohol, that's where you just draw a deadly line that do not take those. It's disgusting. It burns your throat like a nightmare. I tried it once. I'm never going to do this shit again. I only drink red wine and white ones. Please don't ask me to do other drinks. Now, step with number two is when I will upload videos. Now, unfortunately, I would not release a date of time, but I will say that once I get my vacation done and get back, I'll start going back to video production as normal. I know you guys really want the videos, and I understand you really want them, but I do want to have a nice vacation with my parents. Because, they're, because I want to spend more time with my mom and dad, and because, you know, they're not going to live as long. So... Yeah, spend much time more on your vacation. I spend more time on my vacation to make sure everything goes well. And don't worry, the video production will come back to normal, so everything is okay. Sorry I had squared a lot in this video because, you know, I have a little bit of a tendency to get a little rage. But, you know, it's understandably the most common thing I can say. I hope you guys like this video, and thank you for watching as well. Do subscribe to the channel, as do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Of course, 
I will be back and uploading more row aviation related content coming up soon. And of course, yeah, I would be having fun as well. And number three, exec, I know you want to come down, but maybe it's not the right time. I'm sorry, buddy. It's not right now. But also, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.